Hey, I don't think we've been introduced. My name is Greg Miller. I am 22 years old. I live in Mason, Ohio, and this is my new YouTube show, Sol Solving Autism's Puzzle. Now, for this show, I want to talk about my experience with with the uh, with a a, ver a very common uh, type of disorder, or disability, or or uh, inability, as some people would like to call 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 it, called autism. Now, what is autism? You may ask. Well, it's basically it's basically when a person is, is having trouble with basic communication skills. Now, I know, now me, myself, I have autism. I've been autistic for like 20 years. And it doesn't sound at all like I have autism. But, someti but sometimes when autistic people try to speak to someone else, it usually kind of shows. And I want to be able to show all of you how autism should be viewed and how people with autism should be viewed. And to those who want to learn about what I have experienced with autism and what I know about autism, I want to, I want to welcome you to this show because this show is for people who want to be, be able to learn about autism or be able to learn from someone who is had a lot of experience with autism. So, a rule that I like to make is no flame wars, guys. This is a, a very clean, very, enga very engaging, very educational type of show. So, <coughs> so please try to be nice, okay? Now, usually I don't do this, but I kind of like to show you guys what I've been, what I've been about through throughout my entire involvement with the autistic community because some may not know this but I've been involved with a lot of things invo involving the community of Cincinnati now before I go talking about my myself and start <laughs> before I start rambling on again I want to show you a few I want to show you a few clips of what I've been doing with with my involvement in the autistic community. Take a look. I'm Greg Miller and I'm a very outgoing person and after school in the football games I dress up as the mascot known as Comet Man. Ages ago we were told as kids are diagnosed with autism that certain things can be expected and not expected. You know we feel like you know we want to call people, we want to write people, we want to say you know what look what Greg's done. Going from not even wanting to have his picture taken to be in front of thousands of fans, being common man is like a, a parent's dream with a yeah. kid with a disability. He's always here like to support us as cheerleaders. We always see him, give him high fives. He always runs through, and it's just really cute to see him like supporting the team like that. And I know he really has a good time. Well, Comet Man has a uh, a motorcycle helmet with a uh, green and white striped shirt chest piece that says Mason on it. It also has a belt and some uh, boot coverings. My duties as a cop man is to make sure that everyone cheers for the team and make sure everyone has a great time. Let's go! Let's go! Just to hear the roar of the of the crowd and to allow them to see the very interesting features of Comet Man is just uh, just very exhilarating. I get a lot, lot more spirit by my side when I'm wearing the costume. It's given him confidence in, in other areas of his life, other things that he's chosen to do with school and other community things that he's chosen to be a part of. Those families that have children that may have younger children, you know, with autism and other um, disabilities, we want to say, you know what, your child can to achieve their dreams too. Last month at Live Oaks in Milford, Ohio, Families with ASD, a local autism support group, held their fourth annual Autism Expo. As usual, the free event was a huge success and for the first time featured live entertainment. 
That's where we met an amazing young ventriloquist named Greg Miller. Uh, here's one of my favorites. It's a pirate. Buccaneer yep. Bob. Buccaneer Bob. Buccaneer Bob. So, very nice. And so does Buccaneer Bob have a different voice than you do? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah? Let me, so show me, show me a little bit here. How you doing, Buccaneer Bob? How are ya? Arr. <laughs> Can he do that? Can he go, arr? Arr. I think this interview is to, is to help the Autism Society be able to, to show, to show ever to show everyone how how kids with autism can be able to do magnificent things like I have in the past during the year of 2010 I've d I've done a lot of magnificent things like being the mascot for my school be and being the star player for the Miracle League and all and also be and also being the positive influence in the autism society I can be able to teach kids that they can, they can follow their dreams. They can be able to accomplish what they want to accomplish. And I can, I can show the parents that even though, even though there are some people that have disabilities, like possibly their children, they can, they can achieve their dreams just like I have. If you have a disability, that means that that sort of does mean that you're sort of different from some of the people around you and that and that for me means that that if I have a disability and and that also means that I'm different from everyone else I do think it's good because I think that having a difference means that you can be it means that there are some things that you can there's a lot more things you can expect from yourself and there's a lot and there's a lot more things that you can do for other people even though they don't expect, even though they don't expect that kind of thing from you, you can definitely do great things for them nonetheless. I put inspiration into people. Being in the mascot for four years, that takes a lot of guts and a lot of determination. And I've been showing everyone that just because you're different or that, or that you have a disability, it doesn't mean that you still can't do great things. Life is not important, except in the impact that it has on other lives. Jackie Robinson. Baseball is our national pastime, and a game for all. Lou Gehrig. Anytime you have the opportunity to make a difference in this world, and you don't, then you're just wasting your time on earth. Roberto Clemente. Feeling the sting of a solid hit. Rounding the bases and touching home. Throwing all day long until your arm aches. More than any game highlight or play you see from the stands, these are the baseball moments that create a bond between child and sport. The Character and Courage Foundation was created to help enrich, through baseball, the lives of youth who are physically handicapped, diagnosed with life-threatening illnesses, or living in impoverished areas. Funds generated through the foundation will go towards fulfilling our mission. A mission inspired by the likes of Jackie Robinson, Lou Gehrig, and Roberto Clemente. Players who face great personal challenges with integrity and perseverance. By supporting the Character and Courage Foundation, you can put bats and balls into the hands of those who face challenges that no child should experience. Together, we can make a difference. Make sure every child has the chance to play ball and help bring the joy of the game to a new generation of fans. Be a part of our team. Our team. Please, join, join our, our team. team.
so yeah, I've been a uh, I've been doing my part in being able to support autism awareness to pretty much everywhere around the Cincinnati or tri-state area. And there's a lot of people I want to thank for this. Uh, I definitely want to be able to th thank the entire city of Ma Mason because they've been because the entire city of Mason has been so devoted in making their students like top-notch and being able to really reveal the character inside all of us and it's easy to say that without Ma Mason's passion to be able to cre create to be able to create be able to create very dynamic very very passionate citizens like me and as well as most of my friends as well as everyone around me, I think it'd be easy to say that I wouldn't be who I am right now. I also would like to th like to thank my good friend Robert Parrish for being able to for being able to document for being able to show to document all that I've been do most of what I've been doing for the Autism Society Society through his videos, and I can and uh. It wouldn't be possible for me to be able to show what I've done without, without his help. So, Robert, if you're watching this, I sincerely thank you. And I want to, and I want to be able to, w to wish you the best of luck in all that you do. And I, want, and I sincerely hope that you continue to, to show everyone why autistic people are such awesome people, such caring people. And, uh, plus, I also, and plus, I also want to be able to th thank everyone for, uh, I also want to be able to thank some, I also want to be able to thank mo some people from the Autism Society, like Patty Proctor, who's been able to, who's been able to be able to, to demonstrate, who's been able to be able to spread autism awareness throughout the greater Cincinnati area and to be able to to get me to be able to sp help spread that message along with her to, to let me get involved with her in spreading that message so Patty if you're watching this too I want to thank you and I want you to I want you to be able, be able to continue what you're doing in the autism society and to be able and be able to show everyone that autism needs to be something that people should pay attention to. That autism is something that needs to that needs to that needs to be shoved that needs to be shoved into the spotlight, and to have everyone take recognition. Now, <clears throat> like I said, I have a lot of people to thank, but <laughs> the, but uh, you would, know, but uh. This whole thing would just go, would just go into a whole hour video, and I like to keep it condensed into like half an hour, like to like about a half an hour video. Now, now if you if you want to be able to learn more about autism, go to the Autism Society Society's web, website. Website. The link is in the description. So basically. If you want, basically, if you want to learn more and also to be able to help make a dona donation or, or something like that to them, they re they really because they're really nice people and they are really passionate about what they do. So please give them the attention that they need so that they can be able to support autism aware awareness. My name is Greg Miller, and I'll see you all next time. Hey guys, uh, I don't know if you've been, I don't know if, uh, yeah. <laughs> how's it going? My name is Greg Miller, I'm 22 years old, I live in Mason, Ohio, and I, and I want, and I want to talk to you about, about something that's been a real issue, uh, 
Come on. The clips used in this video has no copyright intentions whatsoever. All clips in this video belong to their intended owners. Each clip in this video are for entertainment and educational purposes only.